Hey, welcome to another episode of Fish Where the Adventures. Today we're at Tonnell Creek to see who's catching fish. Let's go. Tonnell Creek, situated east of Payson, flows down the Mogollon Rim. It is accompanied by various camping and parking spots that stretch alongside the creek. And every week the Arizona Game of Fish replenishes the creek with catchable sized trout. Now accessing different areas is made convenient by a road that runs parallel to the creek. However, due to the creek's popularity and nearby hiking trails, finding parking can be a bit challenging. Navigating the creek's shallow water, characterized by rocks, logs, and occasional deep pools, becomes challenging due to the dense overgrown vegetation that envelops the area and makes it difficult to explore and find that suitable fishing spot. Now let's find out what adventures people are having catching fish. Yeah, I caught, uh, I caught a few rainbow out of here. It's been uh, probably about two years. Since yeah. I've been out in bed, I yeah. catch and release. And just more for the sport and getting out in nature for me. Pretty good size for right there. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. No, actually, uh, right there in front of that log. Oh, cool. There's a nice run right there. It's a little deep. Just look for good water. And you'd be surprised where they're where they're at. It could be right underneath that branch, uh, right next to that rock. Anywhere that the water's moving really good right now, because they don't have very much cover, so they're kind of hidden in in the water running. So that's where I would that's where I would be looking. Yeah. So then uh, what I'm using is a five weight line, and then I have a uh, nine foot leader. That. Mind showing what you caught it on? Yeah, it was or that what, grasshopper? What? Similar to an Alcar caddis. I tied it with deer hair. You tie your own ties? Yes, I do. Nice. This is what I tied last night and yesterday. So those are some Griffith's gnats, uh, red hair, which is just a red feather, uh, grizzly hackle, and, and uh, a couple of woolly bugs, they said. And then here's another Arizona leech, but it has uh, like a little... Uh, Feathers for uh, to simulate gills, so like it's gilling. So let's see how it goes. Right. Over at uh, Whispering Pines, they're uh, stocking Gila trout. Oh yeah. And then I got uh, I caught uh, eight of them over there, Gila trout. And I was using a Griffith snap, black and white. Black and white Griffith snap. And then uh, brown and white. And it's size uh, 14. And then the, the knot I'm using is a baby knot. Because it's really small compared to a um, mm. Mm. cinch knot. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit smaller <laughs> and stronger. <laughs> this is an Arizona leech. See if that'll catch anything. Fun spot, easy to get to from Payson. Actually, already filleted it, so it's not going to look too pretty. It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I was catching little gila's. Um, I could see them like over on the side hitting top water, but haven't caught any last couple uh last week like this the ones they're stocking are bigger but if you wait till october september they get to be pretty big they get that summer of growth in here and you get some that have been stocked at their beginning of the season and it's pretty fun you'll get pretty large fish in here i was using trout magnets little tiny jigs and yeah. they're biting really well and then in the afternoon i was using um power bait Okay. Just with a little tiny swivel and a hook, but it's been good. What kind of uh, power bait are you using? This one right here. I'm almost all out. And so then the other thing I like to use is uh, the smallest spinner that you can find. I actually lost it earlier and they work really well in here. It's just hard to find a spot to cast. So if you can find a nice big, pool, there's a few big pools in this run that you can get a uh, pretty good cast in here. Yeah. This little St. Crow, it's ultra lightweight. Ooh, yuck. Um, and then I got braided line, 
and then I'm using mono as a leader on it. So it works really good not to get all tangled up in some of the rougher water. So I've probably got about seven foot of mono on the end of it. Okay. Really relaxing. Lots of people walking through. Sometimes people go swimming in the hole you're fishing in. <laughs> it's funny though, the people swim in it and then once they're out of it, the fish start biting again. It doesn't really spook them at all. <laughs> Cause they're just stalkers. Well, that concludes this fishing report. I hope you have enjoyed watching this episode. And if you'd like me to visit a fishing spot, just let me know. As always, be sure to like and leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to the channel to see more episodes and fishing reports like this. Thanks for watching. Fish Worthy Adventures.